This is Wendy Susie, Madison Social Media Examiner with examiner.com. I'm with, here with Justin McCoy, who is the senior marketing manager with Cousin Subs, and he's the one responsible for social media for the headquarters operation. We've had a long discussion today, Justin, with you about how you're using it, Facebook, Twitter, um, Flickr, YouTube, all places that you're active today and intending to be more active. What advice would you have for any of our uh, viewers and listeners out here to think about before they get started with social media or if they're engaged? What are some tips that you'd give them based on your last year of experience doing this for a brand? I think the first step is really if you don't have a Facebook account or you don't have a Twitter account to get on there and just really st- follow some brands that you and that you you're a, you're a loyalist to or you're a fan of and and just start to see what they're doing a little bit and see how people interact with those brands. I think that's an important first step is just to kind of there's a little bit of a language to Twitter, um, a unique language and if you're not if you're not used to that language it, it you're going to be like, I don't even know what they're talking about. And there's an education process. And there's also an etiquette to social media, too, that I think you'll identify as you're kind of kind of just following other other brands and, and also just people on Facebook and uh, Twitter in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, from there, I think it's important to just know that you're not going to know everything when you start. And you're going to learn a lot along the way. Because part of, most of it should be predicated by the people who want to follow, you, follow your brand. Um, they're going to help to lead where you're going to go. Uh, the last thing I would say is I think it's really important to have that voice be from you, especially if you're a small company. I, I my my opinion is that it's your voice on social media should come internally from your company because you know your company best and you can address um, everything that's going to come at you in social media better that I think than someone who's outside your four walls. And those would be the three points that I really would hone in.